Welcome to another Nords Tech Tip. In this video, we'll talk about the error codes 65 and 66 relating to the main and bypass water control valves, also referred to as servos. Before we dive into the specifics of the error code, let me explain a little bit about how the servos work and what they do. All Nords units, large and small, will have a main servo which controls the total flow that can pass through the unit. Larger units will have an additional bypass servo, which allows a certain amount of water to bypass the heating process and mix with the hot water leaving the heat exchanger. The bypass servo allows for additional control and safety of the hot water output temperatures. The two servos work together to ensure the heater will always produce the set temperature regardless of demand and maintain the industry's best temperature stability. Servos are a bit different than your typical DC motor in that they allow for precise control within a specified range. In other words, DC motors spin continuously while servos are designed to rotate to a specific angle. There are multiple wires between the circuit board and the servos, which provide things like power to the servo motor, position sensor, and signal wires. The board and servos are in constant communication with each other. The board tells the servo the position, energizes the motor and the servo reports back to the board that it's moved to the requested position. If the board does not receive the correct position or any position at all from the servo, it will throw an error code depending on which servo is problematic. Incorrect or lack of position feedback can be caused by a number of things, so I'll just go over a few of the main causes here. As you may have guessed, due to these servos being a direct part of the waterways in the unit, Water quality and hard water are the main causes of failure. Hard water can cause excessive buildup in the servos resulting in the inability to position the servo properly. If caught early enough, this can usually be resolved by a good cleaning of the servo followed by a descale. Depending on the amount of scale removed, it may be a good idea to remove the servo again and double check it for any debris. Another cause related to hard water is a water leak in another part of the unit finding its way down to the wire connections or motor of the servo, be it a leaking o-ring, a pinhole in a pipe, or a heat exchanger leak. If enough water sits in the molex plug of the servo or gets into the motor housing, it will corrode it to the point electrical signals are disrupted and the servo no longer moves or is no longer able to report its position to the board. Along the same lines as a corroded connector, if any of the wires to and from the servo get pinched or broken during a routine maintenance or other repair, you'll get an error code related to that servo. This really goes for any type of service or repair, but be mindful of wiring inside the unit and make sure it doesn't get pinched or otherwise damaged during that service. Replacing a servo or the wiring related to it is generally pretty straightforward, but it has potential to cause bigger problems if not done correctly. The servos themselves are simply held in by C-clips, but if they are not installed properly, once the unit is pressurized, the water connection will pop open and soak the inside of the unit. Thanks for watching. If you found this tech tip or any other video helpful, please consider subscribing and clicking that like button.